what's going on everybody it has been a long time and i apologize but i appreciate all those checking up on me if you've been following me on instagram i appreciate you just go ahead and get your daily motivation daily inspiration through all my little quick thoughts that i put out there into the world i appreciate the love and all the messages you guys are sending me i am alive i was traveling and i'm back grinding um and i i just want to say thank you so much but real quick video, just to go ahead and touch upon something that I've come across many, many people, and it has to do with so many people across the social media platform, from Snapchat, even though I'm not on it, but I keep hearing about it, Instagram, Facebook, you name it. The one thing that I found out, and everywhere I go, is the fact that people spend so much time just dedicated to showcasing all the good that's going on or if they're at a party or they're celebrating or stuff like that. But here's the thing that I've always wondered. Why do people not show the other side of them? When we talk about being real, when we're talking about being authentic, when we talk about just being 100% genuine and honest about stuff, why are we not showcasing the, the other side, the struggle, you know, the, the battles that you have to go through and, and and just to show that you're real and not to show that you're constantly just partying and living this lifestyle that people think that you have day in and day out. But the fact that, you know what, you might be in the studio grinding out at work. You might be in the gym grinding it out. You might be struggling with yourself and you might have to put that thought out there just to flush through your emotions. I get it. Being vulnerable is scary for many people. But this is what I'm saying. You can build so much strength, so much strength when you are vulnerable. I am a proponent of that. When I finally figured out that, you know what, giving myself the opportunity to be vulnerable, giving the opportunity to be authentic with all you guys out there watching my videos, you know, all the struggles that I've been through and all, even all like the celebration, the rewards that, I, that I'm that i getting, like I showcase it all. And that's what I'm challenging everybody now. Be authentic, be real, be honest with yourself. Don't just showcase all the great grandiose things that you're going through on Snapchat and stuff like that. I get it, but I, I started to think if we want to create a society where people build a little bit more empathy versus envy, because you know a lot of people look at other people's stuff and they get envious of, oh my God, I want to be like that, or I need that, or I need to be out and about doing that stuff, versus seeing the real authentic side of other people where they might be going through some tough times and, and, and stuff like that, and it might build which, you know what? I honestly believe it will build a society that be more empathetic, that will, you know, people will understand that, you know what? I'm not the only one struggling out there. I don't have to constantly put a facade that I'm partying it up all the time, that I'm always in a great mood, that, you know what? Life isn't, life is a balance. We go through our ups and downs, correct? So what I'm saying is this, if you're big on this whole social media thing, and I think many of us are, I challenge you to be really authentic with yourself and be authentic with your, your, your people who follow you and, and the people who see you and follow you and subscribe to you that it's okay for you to be vulnerable. It's okay for you to showcase you know, the things that other people might not see just because you have an image that you wanna live up to. Why? We always talk about being real. So let's honestly and truly be real and authentic with one another. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Let's get this going, people. I want people to be 100 all the time. Through the highs and lows, we can support each other, we can uplift each other, and we can celebrate one another. All right, comment below. Let me know what you guys think, and love you all. Until next time, stay blessed, and continue the feedback. I love you. Cheers. Awesome.